In their rush to get traffic, many marketers actually forget about on-page SEO factors. They're in too much of a hurry to get themselves ranking in the search engines, not realizing that the on-page factors actually make a significant difference in your rankings. They could potentially make the difference between being at number one and being somewhere below that. It depends on whether your competition has also done the on-page SEO optimization, and not everyone does this, so be aware of that. Many people completely ignore the on-page factors. As I said, they're in too much of a hurry to start building links and sending people through to their websites, or they just don't understand them or understand how to use them properly. If you can use them properly, you're going to get a significant benefit. Now, one of the best platforms I can really recommend is WordPress. WordPress is designed for SEO, and using a plugin such as the All-in-One SEO plugin will help you to optimize your on-page SEO factors for maximum results. Now, the first one is your title tag. This needs to be about 64 characters, any longer than that, and you may find it being truncated by the search engines. This has to contain a keyword and it will appear in the search engines results as the title of your website. So it's actually very, very important that you have it there. And if you don't, you can find your website being listed as no name or untitled, which of course you don't want. It's got to be basically the title of your website. It needs to be something that entices people to click on links, uh, go come through to your website. It's got to be something that tells them what's there, what they're going to gain, a benefit from it, but it has to be in 64 characters. The next two are your meta keywords and your meta description. These are basically, uh, the first one tells you what keywords your page is relevant for, and the description is a description of the keywords. Now, these aren't so important for the search engines anymore, but they still are very important. They are very important for AdSense, and if you find that your AdSense are, ads aren't very targeted, then have a look at your keywords and your description, and they're probably not set or not relevant. So make sure you use them. These, your meta description needs to be around about 150 characters. But again, this appears in the search engine results. So it has to be something that people will look at and think, I need to click on that. So it's very, very important. Now, if you have graphics on your website, you can set what's known as alt tags. These are alternative tags for people that are visually impaired. They're basically descriptions of the picture. So you can put a keyword in there. Don't put too many keywords. Just put one keyword and then the word graphic, image, picture, display, or something like that. But what you can do is also make sure your picture is named with your keyword in it. But don't do... You know, don't fill your entire page with alt tags with one keyword in it. Vary the keyword. Have it just two or three alt tags per keyword. But if you do this and you add, add the graphic image picture on, it's not going to raise any red flags. But what you'll find is your pictures will rank in the search engine results as well, which bring you more traffic. But remember, don't do more than two or three for each keyword, because if you do, you may well end up getting uh, accused of spamming and may lose search engine results. The next on-page factor is use a header one tag, the H1 tag, with your keyword in it. This is a big letters at the top of the page. Make sure your keyword's in it because, again, that says this site is relevant for that keyword. Then you have to use your keywords in your site. Don't go crazy and stuff them in every other word. You want you know, maybe you know, 3 to 5% of the maximum of keywords, but you have to make sure you use other keywords as well, you know, LSI, Latent Semantic Indexing. So you need to use related keywords. So if you're writing about barbecues, expect to use words such as grill, sauce, cooking, griddle, and so on and so forth. But whatever you do, don't keyword stuff. This is seriously frowned upon by the search engines, and you could find your sites being dropped from their results. On-page SEO can really put you ahead of the competition. It can make the difference in the search engine rankings and if you've done it and your competitor hasn't you'll get above them so remember not all marketers are doing this so if you want to get hold of your competition and beat them in the search engine results then do your on-page search engine optimization